Hello everyone and welcome to Shepley Saturday Concert. I hope you've had chance or will have chance to listen to and watch some of the other items that we've had on offer this afternoon. We're starting off this short concert with an offering from a band called Sheila Nagig. They have been to Shepley before and were due to reappear in 2020. They, like everyone else, haven't been able to meet up for the last few months, but they've put together for us a short tune just to get us in the mood. Sit back and enjoy.
and we're all looking forward to the full band back on stage and hope to see them all soon. Our second performance today is Maddie Morris. Maddie was winner of the BBC Two Young Folk Award 2019 when it was last staged in Manchester. She's now graduated from Leeds Conservatoire where she learnt music with no one other than Nancy Kerr and Bryony Griffith. Maddie is really looking forward to getting back out to doing live gigs and is already booked to appear this year at Cropperdy and Towersley, so you might see her there. Welcome, Maddie Morris. Hi, I'm Maddie Morris and today I'm going to be singing some songs on behalf of Shepley Spring Festival. I'm going to try and do this all in one take um, so it feels a little bit more authentic. But it does mean if I mess up, you are going to be hearing that. So uh, that's just something you've got to look forward to. Um, I'm really gutted that Shepley Spring Festival won't be taking place this year, but completely understand it from a safety perspective. And I really look forward to um, having it to perform at next year and getting to meet a lot of you in person. But I'm also really excited to get to be part of this big online event. I think it's really lovely the way that all these um, festivals have made these accessible versions of their events um, because we can't get out this year. And I think that's a really special thing. And I hope it's something that continues once live events are safe again, because it's wonderful to have these these events and the accessibility that they bring. The first song I'm going to sing is called The Two Brothers. I learned this from the singing of Jareth Henderson. Um, and uh, it was one of the first songs that I saw in a live setting that was a folk song and like a traditional song. Um, and this was when I was probably about 17. And I remember saying to my mum afterwards, like, I can't believe I'm going to go to uni and study to sing songs like that because they were just so technical, you know, these trad songs um, and seemed completely inaccessible to me at that time. So it's really exciting to be able to sing this song now after studying at uni and studying to, uh, to sing these kind of pieces. Um, so this is The Two Brothers. My brother and I was going to school in the evening coming home. When my brother turns to me and says, Oh, can you throw a stone? Oh, can you throw a stone? No, I can't throw a stone, he says, And a little can I play at the ball. But come on down to yonder green woods and we'll try to wrestle and fall. We'll try to wrestle and fall. They wrestled up, they wrestled down till they both fell to the ground. When John took out his little pen knife and gave Willie a deadly wound, gave Willie a deadly wound. Now you take off your white linen shirt and tear it from God to go and wrap it all around my wound so that it'll not bleed no more so it will not bleed no more and he's take off his white linen shirt and tore it from God to go and wrapped it all around my wound but I bled the My brother and I was going to school in the evening coming home when my brother turned to me and said, oh can you throw a stone, oh can you throw a stone. Thank you very much. I don't know if you can hear, there are two different sources of noise. I think my heating's just come on downstairs and I live in a, in a factory town with lots of lovely, beautiful old terrace houses. So you might be able to hear that depending on the audio quality. And I also have a little family of foster rabbits um, in a cage to my left, to my, yeah, to my left. 
um, who are all cuddled up at the moment, um, which is something really cool uh, and something I really enjoy doing and have been enjoying doing in the lockdown. You won't be able to quite see this in the camera, but I've got a Shruti box here. The next song I'm going to sing is called um, The Selkie's Daughter. And um, there's loads of beautiful Selkie songs in the tradition and also contemporary Selkie songs. Um, and I did some some reading and some listening to some some stories. And I wrote this about a year ago now with the idea of thinking about um, the Selkie myth and maybe how it would feel to be the child of a selkie. Um, so I read that if um, a selkie and a human had a baby, it was unclear as to whether or not the, the child would develop the powers um, of the selkie um, and whether it would be this kind of half human, half um, mermaid or water thing. Um, and so I, I kind of thought about that. And then I thought about the, the music that I enjoy listening to and the music I've been looking at a lot, which is about... Um, looking at abuse through traditional song and through contemporary song um, in the folk tradition. Um, and this kind of seemed like a wonderful um, myth um, to sort of use as a vehicle for, for that kind of social commentary. So this is um, my interpretation um, of the Selkie myth and the idea of the Selkie's daughter. I'm going to play a drone with my Shruti box, um, which you probably won't be able to see. You'll just be able to see my awkward little fingers. Um, but yeah. My Yeah. 
The final song I'm going to sing is called The Owl Between the Cages. I learnt this from the singing of Bob Fox and it was written by Tommy Armstrong who was a working class sort of industrial poet. Um, and this is a really cool song and it's kind of about these two cages. There's a, a, a new cage that's been made and it's done all differently. Um, well cages, I mean to go back a little bit, are the things that took people up and down from the mines. Um, and the idea of this song is it's a fight between a cage who's been there for years and a cage that's just been made and it's got all these new sort of fangled springs and paint and things. Um, and I think it's a really interesting metaphor for the way that we do things and that kind of um, uh, argument that I think is seen in all different industries and all different contexts between is the new way things are being done better or is the old way of things being done better and is there kind of a middle ground? Um, but this is The Row Between the Cajuns and it is one of my favourite songs to sing. One morning when I went to work, the sight was most exciting. I heard noise, I looked around, and who do you think was fighting? I stood amazed and at them gaze to see them in such rages. I'd never seen a row like that between the Brockwell cages. Now the old kid says, come out the gates, thou thou that thou could fillet me, cause if I'd been as young as thou, I'm certain I could pay thee. The paint and knocked his ankle off, and they both had cut faces. The ship does wrap thee for to ride, and they both went to their places. When Gannon knocked him down the shaft, the paint and cage did wreck and fall to take the old one's life. If they stopped at meeting, now the old kid's bought out as he passed your nasty, dirty patent to rub your eyes against the skeets, cause I think you've hardly wakened. Now the patent to the old kid says, although I be a stranger, I can work me work as well as you, and free the men from danger. The patent knocked his ankle off, and they both had cutting faces. The ship does wrap thee for to ride, and they both went to their places. Now the old cage to the patent says, I warrant you think you're clever, because they've polished you with paint, and you're not last forever. The patent knocked it there away, then you've lost your beauty. They never painted me at all, and still have done me duty. The brakeman brought them both to bank the mischief for to settle. They fought from five o'clock till out and the patents won the battle. It took the brakeman half a ship to clack them up with plasters and the old cage sent his notice in just to vex the masters. Thank you very much. That was The Row Between the Cages. I've been Maddie Morris and it's been wonderful to be a part of this event today. I really hope that you take the time to watch some of the other performances. Um, it's really lovely to have these kind of events online so they're accessible to all and I look forward to seeing you all in Shepley Spring Festival 2022. Bye. Thanks Maddie and good luck with the summer gigs. Our next singer is a young Aberdeen folk singer, Iona Fife. I first met Iona at Celtic Connections in Glasgow several years ago. She is a graduate of the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and in 2018 was the youngest Scots Singer of the Year at the MG Alba Trad Folk Awards. She has performed at Edinburgh Fringe as well as the Inter-Celtic Festival in Lorient, France. She is passionate about Scots language and has recently uh, recorded 
uh, a song with Aberdeen Football Club, as well as a, uh, a Scots version of Taylor Swift's Love Story. She recently led a successful campaign to get Spotify to recognise Scots as a minority language, along with Cornish and Scots Gaelic. Please welcome Iona Fife. Hello, I'm Iona Fife. I'm a folk singer from the northeast of Scotland, based in Glasgow. I'm delighted to be singing, doing a wee set at the Shepley Spring Festival. I really hope that in 2022 it will be in person. Since I am locked down in a never ever end in Glasgow tier 3 lockdown, unfortunately I can't be around anyone else. We're not allowed in each other's houses, so I'm just going to play piano for you. Usually I play with Iona Fife Trio. Um, bye, this is what you're getting. This first song is called The Guys of Took and it's a Bothy ballad and it's in really broad Doric, which is the dialect of Aberdeenshire, um, a dialect of Scots. Scots is one of three languages in Scotland. We've got English, Gaelic and Scots as our national languages. Um, and a lot of folk don't know about Scots. They do know about Gaelic, but they're not quite sure what Scots is. So um, this next song is a really great example of of what Scots is and it's about a young lad who's hired on to work at a farm and he's promised good things from the terms of employment but he gets to the farm and the horses won't get up in the morning, the plough doesn't work, it's it's just a total shambles. So this is um, from the 1800s, it's called Guys a Duke. Oh, I 
sin is her name. Follow her to tell her pedigree. I really would think she of a high come do. A high come do. High come do. do come down do. Oh, no, my song is ended. I won't sing anymore. If I be offended, you can walk outside the door. Come a high come do. A high come do. I don't think I've got any um, longer songs than that and I actually just cut that down from like 20 verses to like 15 or something so that was guys who took uh, a body ballad so I'm going to go on and sing an unaccompanied song which is kind of I grew up in the TMSA movement so go to ballad competitions and sing arounds and all that kind of stuff and the traditional unaccompanied ballads there was a lot of emphasis on that and this one um I've known for a few years now and it's been sung by you know great folk singers and um, source singers such as Jeannie Robertson and Sheila Stewart um, you know revivalist singers like um, Martin Simpson's done a great version of it it's one of these songs that just kind of stand the test of time and it dates back to 1673 and it's about the honour killing of Agnes Smith uh, the mill of Tifty's Annie and this took place 11-12 miles from where I grew up in Huntley this took place in Fivey. You can go to Fivey, you can see her gravestone. It's about a woman who was killed by her own family, her fan in love with the wrong man. So it's a bit, bit sad, a bit grim. But apparently the School of Scottish Studies in Edinburgh says that this was the most sung ballad by um, 20th century source singers. So it's quite clear that all of those singers stood in solidarity with Agnes and her message should still be sung the day. So it's called Mill at Tifty's Annie. <clears throat> Nor thought in 
Tam Spears, or the Gagers, and also from a recording of Gardena McCulloch. So it's just one of the ballads that I've kind of mishmashed together. I think we need um, cheering up after that, just, just a wee bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to play a song that was written by Dundee bard Michael Mara. It's called Take Me Out Drinking Tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
that help bring these songs to life far better than I could possibly do myself. So I'm going to play that Gillian Welch track, Dark Turn of Mind, and this was the first ever, um, I would say it's probably the first ever full English song that I've ever actually sung in my life, which is quite interesting. Um, you know, when you're brought up in Aberdeenshire, you get taught a lot of boppy ballads at school, which is really nice, um, but you don't, you don't get to sing in English a lot, but um, yeah. So, dark turn of mind. Shadows are calling 
Dark Town of Mines, written by Ghislaine Welch and Dave Rawlings. So, um, yeah, I, I thought I would try and add something a wee bit light-hearted, and I really struggled to find light-hearted songs. Um, but yeah, this next one is a great one that you can all join in with. It's got a really familiar melody to You Can not Shove Your Granny Off A Bus. Um, yeah, I think when Polaris got dumped in the Holy Loch in Dunoon, the Scottish people were not too pleased, and were still no too pleased at all hearing the weapons in our loch. So they did, as Scottish people did, and, and just wrote a funny song, uh, ripping, ripping the mick. So this scene is called Ding Dong Dollar. Oh, the Yanks have just dropped anchor in Dunoon And they've hit us in a glad comfy the tune As they come up the measured mile Bonnie Mary o our guile Was swearing spinal to rise all oh, her goon Oh, he can't spend the dollar when you're dead Oh, he can't spend the dollar when you're dead Singing ding dong dollar Everybody holler, you can't spend the dollar when you're dead. But the Glasgow moderator does not mind. In fact, he thinks the acts are of a kind. But if it's heaven that you're going, there's a quicker way than rowing, and there's sure to be anybody left behind. Oh, you can't spend the dollar when you're dead. Oh, you can't spend the dollar when you're dead. Sing and ding dong dollar. Everybody holler. You can't spend the dollar when you're dead. But the publicans will all be doing swell. For it's just the thing that's sure to ring the bell. Aye, their pockets they will jingle. There'll be no lassie single, even though they may be blossom or to hell. Oh, you can't spend the dollar when you're dead. Oh, you can't spend the dollar when you're dead. Sing and ding dong dollar. Everybody holler. You can't spend the dollar when you're dead. But the cloud is sure to prosper, neither here. For they're charging one and ten pence for the beer. Aye, and when they want a taxi, they shove it up their jersey and charge it thirty bob to sand back pier. Oh, he can he spend the dollar when you're dead. Oh, he can he spend the dollar when you're dead. Sing and ding dong dollar. Everybody holler. He can he spend the dollar when you're dead. Oh, he can he spend the dollar when you're dead. Rishi Sunak, get off your blimmin' heat. Sing and ding dong dollar. Everybody holler. You can't spend the dollar when you're dead. So I'm just going to finish up with one last song. Um, it's been lovely to, to you know get to play some music, even if it is to my iPhone. Um, but I'm sure I will be able to log on on the day and say hello to you all. Um, a huge thanks for having me at the virtual Shepley Spring Fest. I really hope to get to the actual festival in person next year. It's been a long time coming, um, but I hope that Abdi's spiding safe and staying well and see you soon. If you'd like to um, keep in time, keep in contact, then I've got a mailing list at www.ionafife.com forward slash mailing list. Um, and that's the best way to keep up with Fike and fit their DM because on social media it's just a mess. Um, but this last song I'm going to do with the piano, it uh, was written by Hamish Henderson and I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous melody, a pipe march called Freedom Kamoi. <laughs> Oh.
Thank you very much, Iona. We finish this short concert with a few songs from the Wilsons, no strangers at all to a Shapley audience. They may be family, but like everyone else, they haven't been able to gather together to meet up or to sing for many months. In fact, in this short set, there's still a man down. The Wilsons are patrons of Hartlepool Folk Festival, and that's one event that is planned to go live later this year so we might get to see them there. For now, sit back and listen to, or sit up and join in with, the Wilsons. Hello Shepley. Hello Shepley. Good evening. Hi right, Shepley, we hope uh, that when uh, we're next at Shepley, it's as sunny as it is here this evening. Uh, you can see from behind us, we've got the uh, yeah, umbrella, yeah, umbrella out. Yeah, and, uh, we're all set to go. So we've not, this is the first time we've actually got together to sing as a group. Because we can, no. Because uh, we can. Uh, and this will be the first time in about nine months, soon it probably. Uh, so expect warts and all. Uh, we'll try and... You go for the big sell. We go for the big sell. We, uh, we're just chatting amongst the lads and saying that... Uh, Basically, songs that we've uh, been singing for 40 years. Uh, I tried to run through this afternoon, couldn't remember the second verse. Uh, so, that's, tell so you're in for a treat. That's the state of play. <laughs> so anyway, if you know the second verse better than we do, uh, please join in. Uh, Don't be shy. Your mother wasn't. Our mother wasn't. The pattern's great, you see. So. Yeah, there we are. Right, so we're going to kick off with uh, the song that I couldn't remember the second verse of, which is John Barleycorn, uh, and we uh, will enjoy it. <coughs> off we go. Two, three. John Barleycorn is a hero, bold as any 
in the land. His fame has stood for ages good and shall forever stand. The whole wide world respects him, no matter friend or foe. And where they be that makes to free, be sure to lay them low. Hey, John Barleycorn, oh, John Barleycorn, old and young, thy praise has sung. John Barleycorn, to see him in his pride of growth, his robes are rich and green. His head is thick with goodly bit, fit nigh to serve the queen. And when the harvest time comes around and John is stricken down, he'll use his blood for England's good and English men's renown. Hey, John Marleycorn, oh, John Marleycorn, old and young, thy praise has sung, John Marleycorn. The Lord in courtly castle, the squire in stately home, the great old name of birth and fame, to John for succor come. He bids the trouble heart rejoice, brings warmth to nature's cold, makes weak men strong and all men young, and all men brave and bold. Hey, John Barleycorn, oh, John Barleycorn, old and young, thy praise and song. John Barleycorn, then shall for great John Barleycorn, nor heed the luscious vine. I have no mind much charm to find in a potent draught of wine. Give me my native nut brown ale, all other drinks are spawned. For English cheer is English beer, our own John Barleycorn. Hey, John Barleycorn, oh, John Barleycorn, oh, and young thy praise has sung, John Barleycorn. There you go. <clears throat> Time. It's a song that uh, comes from, or we got it from, uh, the singing of a, a North Lincolnshire uh, legend uh, amongst the early traditional singers, a uh, fellow called Joseph Taylor, uh, and it was collected by Percy Granger, Granger uh, who we've had some involvement with, not personally, <laughs> but with his, uh, with his music. <coughs> so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sing this song. This is another song that... Um, that we probably ought to the singer and Martin Carthy, although we, we we have heard the original sort of um, crackling, cylinder crackling recording. The bits that you join in with. Uh, <laughs> but of course, Martin Carthy uh, championed a lot of uh, doing that. Bath bleeding. Yeah. And <laughs> at the at the end of the day, this is this is. Uh, Typically for places like Shepley, which is a nice rurally type of area, uh, with all the people who live in there and your good selves and people like Big Will Noble and whoever. So it's for all your. Is that where Shepley is? Yeah. I don't know which festival we're on. I don't know. 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 We used to do that. We did. Yeah. I've got to record it for you later. Two. 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 Three. Time, it is a precious thing. And time, it, it will grow on. And time, it will bring all things to an end. And so does me time grow on. Once I had a sprig of time, it prospered 
by night and by day, till a false young man came a-courting to me, and he stole all my time away. But time it is a precious thing, and time it, it will grow on, and time it'll bring all things to an end. And so does me time grow The gardener was standing by I bid him to choose for me He chose me the lily, I, the violet and the pink But I really did refuse them all three The time it is a precious thing and time it, it will grow on, and time it will bring all things to an end, and so does me time grow on. It's very well drinking ale, and it's nice to have a drop of the wine, for it's far better sitting by that young man's side. That gaineth this heart of mine, the time it is a precious thing, and time it, it will grow on, and time it will bring all things to an end, and so does me time grow on. Time. <laughs> And the local crowd are revolting. <laughs> See, Cole, take one. <clears throat> With the yeah. summer birds whistling outside. Yes, so we're just uh, literally a uh, number of, a uh, handful of miles from uh, the uh, setting of this very sun. Rain miles sun, of course. Which is obviously uh, the area that this year uh, as well, hopefully, there will be a festival on. Uh, that we have oh, yeah. So, Throw, yeah, uh, full blown. Uh, uh, full blown jobby. So, hopefully, that's going to be on there. And one of my uh, weekly um, walks is around Headland in, in Hartlepool, which is a very delightful place. Hmm. The only thing is, they've got no idea about politics. No, so that's well, I mean, you, you, you know, Hartlepool quite rightly got some bad press about their ridiculous uh, voting of a Conservative MP in recently. Uh, however, you've got to look at the percentages. Actual people who voted for said um, uh, party, party, and person who is a, a bit balloon chick. Um, a what you call it, head? Uh, yeah, um, uh, they're about ten, ten percent of the population. I can't go. Nevertheless, let the meat cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or, or get back down on the beach. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, all I end up doing. And we've got a conundrum because the guy who runs oh, canoe. Jackson Water, not canoe. <laughs> canoe. Uh, uh, yeah, he, Jax, did you see that Johnson was in the Jackson's Wharf? Was he? Yeah. Uh, well, before they op before mm. legally opened it up, he was This is a message to you people that are around the bar at the Jackson's Wharf. Naughty boys! Yeah, naughty naughty boys, boys! Naughty boys. We, 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 we want at least three free pints. So, as we were saying, we're going to sing a song about sea coal, uh, which used to be uh, widespread uh, along the northeast coast. You might the rush. <laughs> right down as far as Yorkshire. But, of course, they've cleaned up our coastline now. Beautiful. Uh, so that, so that Chris can go for his uh, Sunday oh, walks yeah. with his care. Durham Heritage Trail. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, wish, I wish everyone else was cleaning up their act. This harkens back to uh, <clears throat> the 1950s when we were in Morley. Me and Tom did a bit of this called sea calling. While we were supposed to be at school, we earned a little penny. Not a pretty penny, just a little penny. <laughs> Money penny. <clears throat> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two. Three. Sea call. If we go and buy a bag without no left at all, 
All we need are shillings to buy bread and meat. For if we must go hungry, then at least we we'll have feet. See call, see call, hear the man call. Pull by, pull by, hear the man cry. It's just a few shillings. For the finest of you. So come stoke up your fires now. For the weather is cruel. It's a cold place in winter. Is all that little. See call. See call. Hear the man call. See hey. See them at the end of the road. If we don't go and buy quick, it all will be sold. For I can see by his wagon that small is his load. For if we must go hungry, then we needn't go cold. See call, see call, hear the man call. Close call. Is there a song that uh, we've uh, generally been singing again from the very early years when we uh, when we all had uh, our soul voices and stuff like that? Uh, it's a song Spanish flu that we got from uh, from the singing of Alex Glasgow from the pen of Alex Glasgow and the singing of various. Uh, um, people not called Alex Glasgow. People not called Alex Glasgow, <laughs> but uh, the perform- it. <laughs> performed in uh, in a play of the same name. Uh, so this is called Call Out Store uh, for your delectation. Again, a great song for, for Shepley, where mining areas yourselves, yeah. you'll be with us on this. <clears throat> Two, three. Close the cl- Oops, it oh, is. Yeah, I missed that. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Might uh, need to edit a bit of that. <laughs> oh, I was the only one that's right now. <laughs> yeah. Good. We were all joining. Good stuff. Good reason. How many months did you say? Minutes did you say? Lots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's me. 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 me takes the note, gives it to Tom. Tom exactly. Now we've got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have we doing it for 40 years? <laughs> Yeah, close the call house door, lad. There's blood inside, blood from broken hands and feet, blood that's dried on pit black meat, blood from hearts that no, no beats. Close the call house door, lad. There's blood inside. Close the call out store, lad. There's bones inside. Mangles, splintered piles of bones. Light buried neat a pile of stones. And not a soul to hear their groans. Close the call out store, lad. There's bones inside. Close the call out store, lad. There's bends inside. Bends when you're that mountainside. Bends when the time to hide. Bends beneath the black mislide. Close the call out store, lad. There's bends inside. Close the call out store, lad. And stay outside. Geordie standing at the door. While Mrs. Jackson, like a fool, complains about the price of coal. Close the coal house door, lad, and stay outside. Close the coal house door, lad. 
there's blood inside. Close the call house door, lad. There's bones inside. Close the call house door, lad. There's bangs inside. Close the call house door, lad. I'm still outside. Thank you. Very much. Minus lifeguard, take one. Well, it's been very nice to uh, get together at last in Glory. And uh, it's been very nice to sing some songs for uh, you good people of uh, Shepley Folk Festival. Shepley Onions. Shepley Onions. Shepley. Very nice onions. Will makes, he grows very nice onions. Very nice. Yeah. Yes, he knows his oh, onions. Stop, stop he knows his onions. onions. Will's knows onions. onions. Will's onions. Let's talk yeah. about Will's onions. <laughs> Grand. Right, so in, uh, in, in Shepley uh, tradition, uh, we would like you to, to take you on an imaginative <laughs> journey that you're actually in a concert situation. You've had your quarter of beverage. The drink. Uh, it doesn't have to be alcoholic. Could be. Uh, it could be tea. Could be tea. Oh, but, uh, I, I, I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, and basically, you had a great night, and then we came on. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we. Everybody wants to end the night with a great chorus song, and we reckon this is a great chorus song. It's the Miner's Lifeguard. <clears throat> we got from the singing of the Bertleys, of the, Elliot, the Elliot family of Bertley, Bertley. Bertley. the Bertleys of Elliot, the Elliot family of Bertley, uh, and <coughs> it's a great, uh, it's, a, it's a rousing uh, song uh, in support of the miners' unions, so please enjoy. <laughs> This is what the said. Drink, blow, drink, blow. <laughs> yeah, he did that with his TV monitor. Yeah, yeah. It's a funny thing, you know. I but can't yeah. do any. I can't do anything on computers at all. I'm rubbish. But I was amazing. I was mother, necessity being the mother of invention. I've become absolutely superb at sourcing beer. Yeah, yeah. Very good beer. As we said, you've got some good sources. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Minus life is like a sailor's board a ship to cross the waves. Every day is life's in danger. Still adventures being brave. Watch the rocks, they're falling daily. Careless miners always fail to keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon the stair. Union miners stand together, do not heed the oldest tale. Keep your hand. Upon your wages and your mind upon the scale. You've been taught and taught again, boys. You've been lauded to for one. And what have you to show the working since your mind and has begun? It's worn out boots and worn out by now. Lungs are stored and children fail. So keep your hand upon your wages and your eye upon the scale. Union miners stand together. Do not heed the owner's tale. Keep your heart upon your wages and your eye upon the scale. In conclusion, bear in memory, keep your heart 
Keep the password in your mind that God provides for every worker when in you is they combine. So stand like men and live together. Victory for you will prevail. So keep your hand upon your ways, yes. And your eye upon the step, union by the stand together. Do not heed the owner's text. Keep your hand upon your wages. And your eye upon the step, union by the stand together. Festival, and uh, yes, we'll see you next year. Yeah, in the <laughs> <laughs> I know. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Enjoy.